What's going on, everybody? It's Joe Grotesque for the Joe Grotesque podcast. I hope you're all faring well out there and you're staying safe in these trying times. Today, I wanted to talk about something that's very near and dear to my heart, as I know it is to many of you out there, and that's Masters of the Universe. Now, I never thought I'd say in a million years that it's an incredibly awesome slash very annoying time to be a Masters of the Universe fan. Now, this just depends on what side of the fence you're sitting on. Due to everything that's going on with Masters of the Universe, so many different versions going on at one time, I know a lot of people, I would say perhaps even a majority of you out there, kind of despise the Netflix Revelation series. And I'm not one of those people. Now, this is just me. I think the show is absolutely amazing. And I love the action figure line thus far, uh, the Masterverse series from Mattel. It's probably the closest thing to the uh, Motu Classics line that's currently out, at least in scale and articulation anyway. And I'm kind of curious and excited to see where they go with this line outside of the Revelation translation, if you will. What other characters from other versions of Masters of the Universe are we going to get? Who knows? I can't wait to find out. So Masterverse aside, I think most of us can agree that Masters of the Universe Origins is where it's really at. That said, one could also ask, where are all the Masters of the Universe Origins at? Because in my area, at least, it's next to impossible to find somebody besides He-Man and Skeletor. You might find a Battle Cat and a Panther or a a random vehicle. But beyond that, you're not really getting any of the other tertiary characters. Uh, You're not finding too many exclusives just lying around in a Target or Walmart, unless you're lucky. And that's either because of the lack of distribution, or scalpers have beaten you to the punch. So with that in mind, most of my acquisitions in this line have come from online or occasionally being able to find a few characters at my local comic shop. Shoutouts to the Comic Mod store, by the way. So I'd really like to know what trials and tribulations you guys have with collecting this line. I know (laughs) there's uh, way more important and troubling things going on in the world right now, but uh, in our little unit, our little uh, community of toy collecting... I'd really like to know what your experiences are. Maybe uh, you got lucky and you were able to find a really awesome figure that you were missing. Or if you don't have a tale of glory like that, maybe just comment and uh, let us know what your favorite figure is so far from the line. Mine are actually Scareglow and Faker, and that's a little biased because they're my two favorite characters. But I think they did a tremendous job with both of those figures in the line. I've never seen Scareglow glow so bright. That boy's got a pretty mouth. But moving on, uh, one last bit of Motu conversation, and that's about the other Netflix series that's coming out. Obviously a reboot of the entire concept, and uh, starting to look a lot like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with the number of incarnations of the franchise that we're getting here. But I was a bit surprised that they put the new He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Netflix series so close to Revelation. Uh, This one is obviously going to be targeted towards children. Uh, I've seen the trailers and previews, and I don't have a concrete opinion on it. I try to keep in mind that this is not necessarily intended to be my version of Masters of the Universe, Uh, but I am intrigued to at least watch an episode to see where they go with it. It is a bit wacky and stylized uh, as far as the appearance of the characters, but going back to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they kind of did that with the 2012 Nickelodeon Turtles series. And I'm not sure if it's going to translate as well to Masters of the Universe, but we'll have to wait and see. And I want to know what you guys think. Does it look terrible? Does it look like it's going to captivate the hearts of children to create the next generation of Motu fans? I guess time will tell. But definitely let me know what you think. So, with everything said, this begs the question, is there too much Masters of the Universe going on at one time? As a severe Motu fan, I would like to think no. Options are great. 
But will the lack of distribution of certain characters and origins, uh, the lack of interest in revelation with some fans, the possible rejection of the new CGI He-Man and the Masters of the Universe show, along with Mattel supposedly losing the rights to Masters of the Universe here soon, is this ultimately the end of the line for Motu, or... Do you think it's going to create a new renaissance for the franchise? Definitely feel free to leave your thoughts, opinions, and predictions in the comments below. And I think that about covers everything for now. I'm sure we'll have plenty to talk about next time around uh, with the release of the new show and eventually the release of the second part of Motu Revelation and whatever new surprises we get in the toy industry. But until next time, thank you so much for listening. You guys take care.